there is no law in this country that says when you find a building which is not occupied, then it's a corruptly owned. Number two, there is no law in this country which says when you build a house, you should occupy it. It is not a business of anti-corruption commission to check whose house is occupied and whose house is not occupied. It's not their job. First, they speculate that they don't know the first lady. Okay? Just to try to be malicious and to make the people of Zambia, to make the former first lady as a topic of discussion on, so on social media. Mm. Then they come and have another press briefing and say, these flats, they belong to the former first lady. They are registered in a plot which is not indicative of where they are. The plot number which is appearing is not the correct plot number. But a simple check at the Minister of Lands could have verified whether the plot number is correct or it is not correct. A simple check at the Minister of Lands was done by the lawyers and produced the title deeds which show proof that that land, those flats, are correctly registered and are correctly acquired. Then they come back. And they another press briefing and say, you know, Mayova Estalungu is our former head of a former first lady. We respect her. Mm. Uh, we are going to interview her from any place of our comfort out of respect. When they know it's a lie, because they had already told the lawyers that they needed her on Tuesday, yesterday. Okay? So they, they take her to the anti-corruption commission. And the lawyers produce the evidence. These are the title deeds. This is evidence from Minister of Lands. Wayu wayu, wayu wayu, vaso avokamba. Vachoka kwa mayu abuela. They issue a statement. No, uh, we had uh, interviewed the former first lady and uh, we have seized the property. This is drama now. This is drama. What's the basis for freezing the property? It's based on what? What law are they using? She has produced evidence. She has produced title deeds. She has produced records from the Minister of Lands. They still say, we seize them. On what basis? They can't explain. So clearly, the Anti-Corruption Commission has proved to be extremely incompetent, and it has proved that it's a wing of government that is being used to fight political battles. Because the role of the Anti-Corruption Commission is not to cry woof. The role of the Anti-Corruption Commission is to do investigations, <coughs> gather the evidence, and take the suspects to court and prove in a competent court of jurisdiction that those suspects are actually liable to the crimes alleged. The Anti-Corruption Commission should desist from having press briefings to talk about matters that investigations whose investigations actually have not been concluded. It shows that it's a ploy, a deliberate ploy, to tarnish the image of individuals before the public eyes. Because if you haven't finished your investigations, why are you rushing to the media to go and say, we have this property, we have seized it, we are investigating? Uh -uh. The Anti-Corruption Commission must investigate first and then announce and go to court. This incompetent and corruption commission of, 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 of bananas has a tendency of, first, they make the pronouncement and convict people in the public eye and then fall back. There's no evidence. They are failing to take these matters to the courts of law. They are using this particularly to delay and to divert the attention of the people. The people of Zambia, where they are right now, IP, they are looking at the cost of living. Because there is no money in circulation. Some of us have been privileged to be in high places and low places. And I can tell you that when I go Nikachoka Munom Studio, Nipitra Patomikas, because that's where we that's where we are in Nikaringaring. People have no money to begin with. Number two, this
this money has lost value. Because the very things you used to buy in 100 kwacha, you can't buy. He said, now take 100 kwacha, I'm going to pack my market. Mule arungu, muzabwe, and have my vegetables full of plastic. You can't do that. Mutengo waka bari, kaja waka bari, kaja nitezo gula tu kwacha ni five kwacha. Kasala di kopi mesa. Mutengo wa sopo wa dula, waenda pa mwamba. Mutengo wa unga, waenda pa mwamba. Mutengo wa ndiyo, waenda pa mwamba. There is no money, and the money for those who have it, it has no value. Those are the things that this government must be concentrating on. Since we've just but you see, about, this yeah. is a government of foreigners. They please foreign capital. I'll give you an example. What, what do you mean there? I, I want us to... Their ZRA, yeah. their own ZRA, mm. has produced a list and a comparison, a, a comparative study and a report on the taxes that they have collected for 2022, mm. 2021-2022. It has showed that the Zambian, ordinary poor Zambian workers are paying more collectively than the mines are paying. Ordinary poor Zambian workers, yourselves, are paying more in terms of taxes, pay as you earn collectively compared to what the mines collectively put together are paying. Why? It's because this government has given tax holidays to foreign companies, foreign mines. They are given tax holidays, but they are not giving tax holidays to local businesses. They are not giving tax incentives <coughs> to local businesses. It is extremely difficult for you to go and borrow money because the interest rates are 35%. Whatever business you want to do, you can't afford to get back that money. Ask for a teacher who will be recruited. First thing for him to survive, because as a peza unga wa dula, transport ya dula, man's ya dula, malaiti ya dula. For him to survive, just to have kaskolokolo, a second hand Japanese vehicle. Afunu kwendo tenga loo ni kubayipod. 50 pini azaidi pira 60 months, at a very high rate. Actually, you pay more than what you have borrowed, because the interest rates are too high. So what this government is supposed to be doing right now, first of all, is to liquidate the domestic debt. Pay off arrears, pay suppliers, pay contractors. Also lower the interest rate, reduce the pay as you earn, to make it possible for people to have at least considerable amounts of disposable income in their pockets. They must tax the mines so that they can collect 3.2 billion US dollars in a year if they were to tax the mines appropriately. They are losing all that money. Meanwhile, they are chasing a 1.4 billion dollars from the IMF, which will not come at once and will come with conditions, including removal of subsidies. And they want to lie to the people of Zambia. Now, no, we can't subsidize certain factors, uh, certain sectors of the economy. No, you have to subsidize productive sectors of the economy. You must make fuel cheaper. That's the only way that people will be able to produce more. That's the only way you fight poverty. That's the only way you create employment. That's the only way you create business opportunities. Mm. Now, these people are killing the very fundamentals of economics. I wonder which economics that President Nakainde Sami Chilema did at the University of Zambia, which makes him think that when you increase the cost of production, you will increase productivity. When you increase the pro cost of production, you create more jobs. It doesn't work like that. This is the first government in the history of this country that we have seen diesel, which is primarily used in factories and industries, which is used in transport sector. All these transport sector, that you, uh, buses and trucks that you mm. see, they use diesel. Yet this government has made it even more expensive to buy diesel. It is now 28 kwacha per litre, and petrol is even cheaper. Imagine IP, he said he's using a 20 kwacha, kuyenda no buwele, kuyenda mtown no buwele. Now you need 40 kwacha, kutuyenda mtown no buwele. That's how bad things have become. We, we, we were using Ija 500 kwacha, ine, 500 kwacha. Narugula, almost, I used to buy 33 liters of fuel, because it was, it was 15 kwacha mula alumi. Now 500 kwacha buys me 17 liters. I've lost out almost another 17 liters. I'm now buying half of what I used to buy. But yet my income has remained the same. Mm. And this is what is going on for everyone. If you go into the streets, you just go more to Mkombon. Usiwa, njala, chifundo, chione kana pameso. You can see that, mm, bantu wavutika. I am just, when I was waiting for, to come to this program, you know, I do Boliza Virimba as a DJ, where I used to work in Wanabala, because I mean, there's no business. So I passed through one of uh, my joints, to a man in Mkombo, this is a great shit. My father, when I was in the bottle, 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 I was in the bottle,
Why? Because the owner of that place cannot afford to pay them. Could it be business? Mm. My company is when we start hire around 10, 15, manji what is happening right now. They are either reducing the man with the workforce, we can't afford to pay you, there's no business, or they are reducing their salaries. You know that a lot of companies waffle a half. A lot of companies want waffle a half salary. This is where we are. Waffle a half salary. And those are the issues that this government must be looking at. Not PFU. PFU is out. Look at the Mioyozavantu. Let me just get your those comment uh, about uh, the statement which was issued by the Minister of Justice. Um, uh, you know, that borders on uh, the former head of state, uh, President Edgar Lungu, that uh, government is uh, actually, you know, thinking forward on how best maybe they can able to, uh, you know, help the president. Because according to them, and also according to the president, uh, President Lungu's, you know, uh, sentiments, he didn't mention that he's too active in politics. It was at the time when you were there, actually, you went to pay solidarity yes. to him, and I came out clearly that yes. I'm still in politics and uh, nothing can stop me. And yet government has also decided, so, well, if that's the case, then we are going to terminate your, your, your benefits. I'm what is that, your... I'm happy that uh, this question is being asked by yourself because you're the one who asked that question. And I want to commend you for being for showing that you are really a senior journalist. Because we didn't want the president to speak. Uh, because mm. that was not his show. We wanted uh, the people that went there to give solidarity to speak. But you insisted using your many years of experience to force the president to say something. Uh, mm. And I have to say you showed that you are a senior journalist. First of all, I feel sorry for my brother, mm. Haimbe. <coughs> I find Haimbe to be a reasonable character. Uh, I find him to be palatable, to be, amongst those people, I think that President Hakainde Samichle must rely on. That's how I used to find him. Uh, until when he issued that statement. And I started wondering that maybe I judged him too quick. I should have waited. The Constitution of the Republic of Zambia provides conditions under which a former head of state can have his benefits stripped off. Chapter 15 of the laws of Zambia is very categorical. It has actually defined what being actively involved in politics means. It has defined the meaning of being actively involved in politics. What does it mean? It has given it two meanings. Mm. One, being active in politics means doing something that shows that you want to contest an elective position. For instance, if you announce that I want to run in, two, I want to run in the 2026 general election, mm -hmm. then it means you are in active politics. If you say I want to run as president of the patriotic front, it means you are in active politics. Number two, mm -hmm. active politics according to the law has been defined as holding an elective or appointive office in a political party. So first of all, President Lungu has never said he's running for an office. So he's not in active politics. Number two, President Lungu does not hold any political office. So he's not in active politics. So at law, President Edgar Chagolungu is not in active politics. But here I want to qualify. President Lungu is a politician and he will die a politician. He will actively be a politician. Actively be a politician. And that is a fundamental human basic right that President Lungu must be given. To try to gag President Lungu and stop him from talking while you are dragging his wife, you are dragging his children into malicious corruption fight, will not do. So if they want President Lungu to be quiet, stop persecuting his people, stop persecuting his wife, stop persecuting his children. If President Lungu committed a crime, the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia has been very categorical. You go to Parliament, lay down on the floor of the House the crimes suspected that the former President committed. Provide the evidence and allow him and his lawyers to go and debate those motions against him. And if you fail to prove, leave him. If you are able to prove that he committed a crime, remove the immunity and take him to court. You cannot be using President Edgar Chagwalungu 
as a reason for your political sustainability by making the people of Zambia shift their focus from the problems of hunger and poverty that you have created to start talking about President Edgar Chagarongo and what he said. This government wants to sustain debates that are meaningless. That's what they're doing. Mm. They want to divert people's <coughs> attention and you can see the pattern. For instance, every time they boop, when they realize that they have failed to run this country properly and people are crying, you see what they do. When they increase fuel prices, for instance, they will change it back they will come up with it, another issue to divert attention. That's all they do. So President Edgar Chagalongo will not be gagged. And this they must know. He is alive. If they can summon wisdom and not emotions, if they can remove that hatred and bitterness against President Edgar Chagalongo, if they can remove that sense of trying to revenge, they will find President Edgar Lungu to be very useful because he's a former head of state who served also as cabinet minister in four, three different ministries as well as in the office of the vice president. He has a vast wealth of knowledge and experience. It doesn't hurt to bring him close and to use him for consultation. It doesn't hurt to bring him close to use him for unity. It doesn't hurt. Actually, the current president would benefit more if he was to hold on to President Edgar Chagalungu. President Edgar Chagalungu has shown humility. Mm. that his uh, young brother, who refused to recognize him, to acknowledge that he's a head of state, for seven years refused to recognize President Riga Chagalunga as a president. President Lunga has recognized his young brother, and he has even bowed before his young brother as a show of humility and grace to say, when you hold on to the presidency, you have been elected as a president. You cease to be a leader of the opposition that you used to be. Mm -hmm. You are now the head of state in charge of all the Zambians. And that is a heart which this young brother to President Lungu should learn from. So trying to tear President Lungu will not work. The more you fight President Lungu, the more we will fight you. That we can assure you. We will fight you. So continue fighting President Lungu and we will continue hammering you. But if I were them, the focus, they should have seen what will remove them in power. And, mm. and, and this is the mistake they make. The opposition is not PF. We made the same mistake thinking the opposition was UPND. No. The opposition is the people. That's the opposition they're facing. Because mm. there is no shop in this country which is selling cheap fuel for UPND officials. I was watching before you cut me, my innocent. Yeah. On this platform, Movie TV, you were televising ma kadas wa UPND, wa kurundas. Bari ila njala wa pukusula. Bari ila makata. Njala wa pukusula. Waka mbano kuno ma, 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 ma cooperative siya seweza. You know what this president has done? He's very clever. He, keeps, he gives you a bond and you think in inyana. So ana wa uzati, muzambo nkala ma cooperative. Asi wa kulipe ndalama za ma cooperative. There's no money that has come for CDF. So wala wakufake ma cooperative. Where is the money? Uzangala ma cooperative pa chipepa, but kulipe ndalama. He's very clever. So I will say, what you can do is, you want to say, you want to pay and do, 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 you want to pay and do. Very smart president. And he comes there and he says, we have given you money. And you know what they are doing now? Every UPND card who goes to a cabinet minister to ask for anything, you know what they are doing? And then he could constitute us, and then he could see CDF. Who is the CDF? And how good is such bonds? It's the same with what has happened to these, uh, of our, our brothers and sisters. How good is such bonds that are employed? I'm a teacher, I've been employed. You haven't been employed. There's no school which has been, you have been posted. To, there's no school where I've been posted. There's no clinic where I've been posted. So, Wazamba Gwiriachi Chipepa, we have been employed. He is so smart with the way he plays and toys with the people's emotions. But, here's a catch. You we can do, do all those things. Go, by the way. Yes, you can do all those things, but time will catch up with you. <laughs> Remember, I was telling farmers, it's Zampasani, Muzambo Gula Manje, 50 kg bag, 250 kwach, Kwefara A. Our pastor 170. Those farmers have not forgotten. And he shouldn't think that when they don't speak, when they don't protest, they will come for him. They will come for him. Ah. Will come for him and he will Time pay. is never enough for you, yeah. Mr. Mwanza. Uh, but of course, I was tempted to ask you a question because Mr. Mwalitita is actually you know, putting on the spot that uh, you are supposed to be investigated and uh, possibly be arrested for misleading or for having... Uh, allegedly misled the former president in handing over power. 
you at are, the time when he lost. You are the one who asked those yeah. questions in conclusion. Yeah. Just under the a minute. The president was very clear. Yeah. The president was very categorical. Mm. The president never said, Antonio, you, sto you told me not to hand over power. No. I was never near uh, there. Mm. The president was talking about people <coughs> who condemned him after he handed over power. Mm. There are some people who said you should not have handed, you should have you should have actually taken the issue to the constitutional court. Mm. You should have uh, you should have uh, petitioned mm. the election results. He pointed at you okay. actually. He said, yes. Antonio, he don't blame for me, me as an inference. Yes. Okay. And for me, Meaning you are one of the people that no, uh, never he, wanted this year to hand over the power. The president pointed at me as an inference because maybe I was the person who was looking straight mm. in the eyes, or I'm just uh, the person who quickly came into his mind and right. used, used me as an example. Right. But here I want to say this. This this whole issue that Maritet and his colleagues are trying to use of treason is simply to try to scare me to stop talking. No. Mm. I can't be scared. <laughs> me have, the only president who has survived me was Kaunda because he is a man. After all these Uribe, I'm mm. a Zambian I am a person who has a constitutional right. I belong to a political party. We will raise issues affecting the Zambian people, issues of public interest. So they have cadres in the Maritata, they have cadres. They, they, they can use violence. They can use anything against mm. me. But believe you me, there's, there's two things that Maritata and his cadres can't do. One, they can't stop what God has already put in me. They can't. If they want, they can use their violence, they can kill me, they can do anything they want to do, but that will not, that will not, <laughs> will not reduce the cost of living. So Maritet should now be fighting with the cost of living because he, those are the problems which his cadres eh, are having. Right now, all those young people whom Maritet thinks he can use against me on violent reasons, for violent reasons, do you know why they can be used? Because Mananjal, Maripevakuti. So... Maritata should be focusing on helping the young people in Lusaka, his youths in Lusaka, to have something to do, not to fight me. Okay, it's a waste of time. And the, in conclusion, I want to give a word of advice to this government. Focus on the people. Deal with the hunger, poverty. Deal with unemployment. Mm. Not PF, not Antonio Manza. No, you are not Ni four years, yasalako. Not five, four. And remember my elections are in August, meaning three months up. So I was on a three years, seven months. Got seven years, seven months. Three years, seven months. By end of 26. Director, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. You've been uh, watching this special interview with me, Innocent Piri. And of course, you can follow the broadcast after the live feed on Facebook and also.